My name is Herman Pellman and I'm from Millstead, Illinois. I'm 89 years old and I, I, fought, I fought through the Battle of the Bulge and in, in Germany and I was up in Alaska for three years. I served in the Harbor Defenses of San Francisco. I was out there when the Japs hit Pearl Harbor on uh, uh, December the 7th in the Harbor Defenses there across the Golden Gate Bridge in Marine County. And I was drafted, I come home for, I was up in Alaska for two years. I come home, I had a 30 day there for furlough in November. And I went back over to the Army. I was hit a red hot outfit in Hattiesburg, Mississippi. The 69th Division, we were over in, in uh, Reading, England for Christmas in 1944. And I fought in the battles over there, two battles, Central Europe and the Rhineland. My brother was wounded in Castle, Germany, in a roadblock. I wasn't wounded and I didn't have any medals, just two battle stars. And uh, I come home and I, I was 21 years old when I went in and I was 25 years old when I come out. And I, uh, had a lot of experience over there. I met a lot of good soldiers and good people, even good Germans over there. I met a lady over there, she's about 65 years old. When the war was over, we stayed in one of her houses there and we was sent to France to come home and her name was Frau Kuhlmann. She was gonna hang herself when we got there and I told her we're not gonna hurt you or anything and she let everything go and got over it. And I helped her milk her cows. She had 20 acres of ground on the outside of the town of Eva, Germany. And we helped her get her hay in that uh, wheat that summer. And I got her some coffee grounds that was used from the mess hall. They had about a half a sack. That was a lot better coffee than they had. And uh, she was just a nice lady. And she had two sons in the army too, but she hadn't heard them for so long. And she wanted me to come back to see her, with, come over with the fleet of the airplane and see her again. And, I said, I don't think, I ain't got that kind of money to come back over again, but... Oh yeah, we were in the Manchu forest up there, and uh, it was a pine forest, and they'd get tree burst out of that pine woods, and they'd, we had more casualties from the pine splinters than anything else. Yeah, yeah when I got over there in the Battle of the Bulls, I see the fellow laying there on the ground, and... <clears throat> I said, I know that fellow, he's from Belleville. His name is Elmer Schaefer. He worked for Wessel's Meat Market down on the South Belt years ago. And uh, I asked one of his, one of Wessel's daughters, we're on the gas and grab over years ago where the elder was killed in the war. And about a week later, she seen me coming down the sidewalk. She stopped and she said, Mr. Pellman, yeah, Elmer was killed in the war. And I said, I know that. Because he pitched softball for Cathedral in the CYO League, and I battled against him many times. I played for the Groman Steamers in Smithton. We played in Smithton and down at the Southside Park in Belleville. I knew Elmer good. Yeah. That's and great. that's about all. I come home in September and was discharged on the 15th of September with uh, four years, ten months, and six days. We were the first ones to be drafted for Millstead. Chick Levy, Gus Shaver from Potterborn, Harold Bain from Sookie Township, and uh, Paul B. Peake from Pazura, Missouri. He worked uh, for a hired uh, farmer out here in Sookie Township. Yeah.